Aloha, Rich Halverson here. This is ITS148. And uh, today I'm going to do lab uh, 9.11, uh, the vending machine lab in the classes chapter. So let me share my screen. All right, so this is actually a pretty simple lab here. Uh, given two integers, the user inputs. Given two integers as user inputs, the first one represents the number of drinks to buy, and the second one represents the number of bottles to restock. Um, we're going to create this vending machine object that where you can you can um, purchase drinks, you can restock drinks, and you can report the inventory. So the uh, the vending machines is very simple. The vending machine's initial inventory is twenty drinks. So if the input is purchase two, restock two, we should end up with 17 bottles left over 17 because um, uh, 20 minus five is 15, and then you add two and that makes 17. Okay, that's all, very simple. And uh, it they give us, they give us this vending machine class and the uh there's a property it saves the number of bottles uh it stores the number of bottles as an integer there is a purchase uh, method to add no no to take away bottles to to remove bottles uh there's a restock method to add bottles and uh there's a get inventory which uh, just returns the number of bottles and then you, there's this report method which will display out the number of bottles and so what we have to do is first of all we have to create a vending machine object well that's just creating some object um uh vending uh vending object whatever equals uh creating a new instance of vending machine Vending machine, my finger, I have a sore finger here. Hard for me to type. Vending machine of, and I guess self, uh, I guess, you know, we don't do anything. Just, it doesn't even take the number of, of bottles as parameters. It just defines it as 20. Okay, so that's creating a vending object. What's next? A purchase, purchase input number of drinks. Okay, so we're going to use the vending vending object uh we're going to use the purchase method yeah purchase purchase uh and we're gonna uh input will be it'll be inputting the number of drinks and so uh it's going to be an integer uh inputting like that. So we will input a number, uh, which actually comes in as a character. And so this thing converts it into an integer number. And then if we're gonna, uh, that is the argument to this purchase method, which is gonna create, which is gonna add, I know it's gonna subtract whatever this number is from the inventory. And then we're going to do this restocking thing with the next number that's input is this restocking thing. So I'm going to say, uh, well, I'll tell you what, you know, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to print out the inventory. Okay. I'm going to go directly to this thing. Hmm. You know why we need to. Uh, I'm going to go directly to this one just so I can see vending underscore object. Oh, print info, right? Or no, just report. Report. Any any argument? No. So I'm going to see what this looks like. Um. So what I've left out is the line there that would... Um, 
uh, input the number of bottles to restock and then actually call the method to re call the method in vending object to re to do the restocking. So I'm going to see what this does. Okay, well, I got four out of four out of ten. It's because uh, it, it clearly did not. Uh, we did not do the restocking. The inventory is still at seventeen. Uh, look, we did not do the restocking of ten. So that's why it's off by ten. So anyway, um, I tell you what. Why don't you type in what the uh, what the statement should be there for line twenty three, and then uh, we should be able to get this one. All right. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.